Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another run of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. I am going to be playing as a Deep Dwarf Fighter today. Uh, something I've, I've had a couple of runs with, and uh, I feel like I feel I can do this. Deep Dwarf is very weird. Let's uh, let's close this and talk about the Deep Dwarf. Deep Dwarf has a built-in resistance to damage. So even if you get hit, or even if you're poisoned, or anything like that, you will shrug off some amount of it some some of the time. Very, very powerful. You also have the ability to self-heal right away. Uh, if we go to our abilities, you can see there's a heal wound ability over there. Um, I don't know if she actually does. The thing is, uh, it's got a failure chance, although that, that will go down as, I don't know, you level up or you develop skill. I'm not sure what it's based on. But the failure chance will go down. The idea is, especially early on, it's not an emergency button in combat. It's a between combat thing to top yourself off. But the cost is there's a chance. I think it's 25% chance to eat one permanent maximum mana from you and if you get down to zero max mana you can no longer use it to heal why is this ability so important the reason it's important is because you do not regenerate as a deep dwarf at all you don't naturally heal you can't use regeneration spells you can't wear troll leather armor um i don't know ambrosian push ambrosia potions i actually don't know if they work on you hmm i'm betting not but i'll have to test it um, other sources of healing is fine, you know, potions of heal wounds, curing, um, and a variety of god effects that can heal you. And that's one of the things, you tend to have to find another way to get consistent healing as a deep dwarf. Now, you do as a deep dwarf, why come everything is highlighted? You do as a deep dwarf have a pretty good aptitude for necromancy, as you can see over here. Um, and you can use necromancy to get vampiric draining, and some people go that route. I don't think we will, because I think what we're going to do is we're really going to build up the fighter side of us, wear some heavy armor, which would generally make us fairly incompetent at spell casting. Um, luckily, we do have a really good aptitude for evocations here, so we'll still be able to use wands to, you know, he use hexes to deal with some particularly nefarious foes. We're also really good at invocations, which is great because we are going to be worshipping the god Macleb. Is that is that his name? I'm going to call him Marvin. I think it's M-A-K-H-L-E-B or something. I think it's Macleb. But Marvin, Marvin the god is who we're going to look to worship because um, he's got a slew of useful abilities. But in particular, his first thing you get when you're at one piety is the ability to heal every time you kill an enemy. You heal. I think it's based, it scales based on the difficulty of the enemy, and that's going to give us a lot more sort of staying power in here. Um, I'm looking to do the axy thing over here, so we started off with the war axe, and uh, so the first thing I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to focus entirely on practicing axes over here. The idea is we are going to try to bring our war axe down to its minimum delay of 0 0.7, which is achieved at skill 16. Now we're not going to be able to just do nothing but axe until this hits 16. It's not gonna be viable, uh, but we're gonna work on it. Cause right now, if I do a swing in midair here, it's, it's 1.4 um, sort of turns to do a swing right now, which means a lot of times we'll be, we're gonna be hit twice in a row, which is gonna be kind of poor. Uh, anyway, other than that, we, uh, we do start with Potion of Might, which will be good probably for the first unique that we find, a ration, and a shield as well, which is going to be very valuable. And you can see these blue dots all over. That's because a Deep Dwarf, I've got an automatic ability to um, very slightly map out the dungeon around me, which doesn't make much of a difference, but sometimes it can help you to spot something. Uh, there, you Right there, you saw two uh, critters die at the same time. That is the ability, the special sort of innate thing with axes. Uh, when you swing, oh my god, we got a helmet right away. Now, it could be cursed, but it probably won't be a minus cursed. Like, an un... You know, it doesn't say ruined or enchanted or anything like that, so it should just be plus zero. It could still be cursed, but yeah. Oh my god, it's cursed minus two? Okay, apparently I was wrong. I thought it, it's going to be cursed and I can't take it off, but it'll just be a zero. Minus two is bad, so we've just lost some AC here. Um, wow. Luckily, scrolls to remove curse are fairly common, but wow. Okay, you need to die. Um, Weapon-wise, uh, axes and flails... Like and it's, I guess it's the maces and flails category. They cross train each other, so we can swap between those two fairly freely, and um, that'll be important because when we do get to the lair and we're going to start facing some hydras, uh, you don't want to chop heads off hydras because two more grow back for every one you chop off. The exception is if we can get a flaming axe, then that will actually be very good because every head you chop off doesn't grow back, so the hydra just keeps getting weaker and weaker and weaker, which is really good. 
but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's floor one. Ring over dare. What is that? Uh, Fetus, I think. Yeah. Uh, no, Che. Which, the slowing god, yeah? Yeah, Che. So, the god that likes... That's a Dagger of Venom. Dagger of Venom's a very good early weapon. It's fast, you can poison things and kill a lot of stuff. I'm definitely not interested in training up um, small blades or really blades of any kind. Uh, I don't even remember. Yeah, short blades, they've even had a minus one aptitude here. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll just drop it. There's no point in carrying it around. I'm not that worried about someone picking something up. So the the first bit of the game is going to go fairly quickly. Uh, we do have to make sure we don't take too much damage that we can avoid because, again, it won't heal naturally. So I'm at 23 or 27 now, and that's going to stay that way unless something else happens. Uh, so we get to boost an attribute over here. I will be starting by boosting strength because I am hoping to wear big heavy armor, and strength makes it easier to wear it with less encumbrance. So you'll have less penalties or fewer penalties to hit. Um, your evasion won't suffer as much. Not that our evasion will ever be super high, but yeah. Now, so in a sense, I can sort of self-heal myself whenever I want by using the ability, but the thing is, if ever you do hit zero mana, you can't heal anymore, so I really want to avoid burning mana, max mana, too early. Because that would be rough. And yeah, I am being a little casual, perhaps, on this initial bit here, and it's possible I'm going to take one or two points of damage that I don't need to. It's funny, like, with this, this build, you're really, you're really not worried about dying early, but... Normally, it's like, well, as long as I don't die, it's fine, because I can get all my hit points back. But that is not the case here. Oh, and I probably want to read my scrolls a little sooner than I would normally do it. Um, you know what? No, I'll still wait. I'm going to clear this floor. I'm going to read it on the next level. Yeah. Not quite enough stuff to justify... Um, you're probably not alone. Oh, you're not even alone in terms of wizards. I don't know if I'm super worried about you debuffing me. Oh, only one of you came? Alright. Smack, smack, smack. Smack. Smack, smack. Die already! I mean, it is harder to hit someone who's invisible, of course. Too confused to move. Feel less confused. Okay, there we go. Done. Level four, I got plus one strength. I believe a deep dwarf has, whenever they, they get, I think it's every four level, they get plus one strength or plus one int. And a bonus to int would not be terrible because it's max mana, so it means I can heal more, but I don't need spell power or anything like that because that's not gonna be a thing. When I do start researching invocations and evocations, I will get some mana from that. It's a little funny, it's like, it's as long as it's, you, you're, it, it's basically you can't you can't get mana from spell casting and invocation and evocation. It's sort of like you're gonna get it from whatever's higher in a sense. You can check the wiki. There's there's, there's special stuff for that because you'll only get the mana from invocation evocation if spell casting isn't higher and that they're more than half as much as the other. It's something like that. So the question with Ijib here is, do I want to fight her? I think yes. Got a lot of EV and decent hit points right now, but I think yes. I'm going to peek around here just making sure you don't get range. I will use my ability to heal wounds. Of course, the very first time I will use it, I will lose a, a max mana. God damn it. It's bad because this is... Oh yeah, you spawn with a wand. Wand of paralysis, which I'm going to want, and now I'm paralyzed. Just die already, will you? It's funny that she screamed that at the same time. I could have drank my potion of might, but... I really didn't feel like she was dangerous enough to dangerous enough to make it uh, viable. So you can see I'm poisoned, but I'm basically not going to lose any health from a take of poison because the poison resistance works with that. More paralysis. Okay, that's going to be great. To the point where should I consider? Hep would be fun if we had an ability to self heal. Um, should I consider getting some evocation a little earlier to help us? You've got a dagger of electric electrocution, which is going to hurt a fair bit. As you can see, I'm going to heal up. Because Electrocution adds flat extra damage to attacks. So on a fast weapon like a dagger. Especially since they're going to be able to attack me twice um, between swings quite frequently. That's a lot of damage. Okay, at least the second use of my ability didn't eat a mana. 
I don't know if it's random or maybe it's on a maybe it's just on a schedule. Every X uses will cost you one. I mean the wiki says it's random, but this it would be very dungeon crawl to remove some of that random element and make it more predictable. Okay, level four. Um, we're gonna read. I don't have a ton, but we're gonna read some. Identify. Uh, rings are fine to always just try on, kind of blind. Um, assuming you've got to remove a uh, curse, but otherwise. Uh, curing is going to be nice. We will, I'll go ahead and identify another set of potions. Mutation, okay. And this one, enchant armor. So we'll enchant the shield because it's less likely to be replaced as quickly. Teleportation. So what I want to do is go up a level, wait for it to trigger, and because I know it's safe here, and we'll go and stand on another downstair over here. And read the last scroll. Amnesia. Okay. So I'm doing this so that if it's magic mapping, I can see the whole level. Uh, Altar of Rue. We're not doing that in this game. Great god, though. Health is definitely struggling. The earlier we can find Marvin, um, the sooner... Please don't be cursed as well. Uh, the sooner we can start passively healing from getting kills... I'm really trying to avoid using my heal ability too much. I'm just going to drop one at a time, maybe up the stairs here. Enchanted dagger. Yeah, I'm really not interested in going the small blade route. And right now we get so much bonus damage. We got exploding tomahawks. Do we have anything else? No, I could pick up some rocks or something, but... Um... We get so much bonus damage in a large group when we're swinging our, our War Axe around. Plus, it's got decent damage overall. I'm going to... You didn't you see me at all? Here. I'm going to shout. Come at me. I guess I can shift... Yeah, like that. And wait until an enemy shows up. Die. Die. Thank you. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. What's my swing time at? Okay, once it gets to 1.0, I'm going to turn on some other skills. I mean, one turn is not literally how quickly, you know, various things attack. Although, that is the base for a, a, a lot of things. Um, we can do... The, oh, I was really hoping I'd kill the lizard before we'd engage with this guy. Not super worried, because again, the poison... I may as well drink the curing. Just in case we would have gotten a poison tick. Plus, it does heal one point of damage. Well, not one point of damage. A little bit of damage that I don't have to worry about using an ability for. Did I get a new scroll? I do have some more. Enchant weapon. All right. The war axe, although it's a little wasteful because I would rather a branded one. There's remove curse. Okay. Um, so we are going to take off. In fact, just drop this helmet. Thump. And did I pick up an artifact armor? Well, I missed that. Holy cow. Um, we're going to identify it because it could have some sort of really wacky trait that makes it painful to take off, like drain. It could be like a negative AC thing with drain, so you want to take it off, but taking off would hurt. This is going to be great, though. So currently my AC plus evasion is 15. If I wear this, it's going to go to 18. Um, I can now evoke flight if needed. And I resist corrosion, which isn't important yet, but will be nice later on. Mostly right now, just having a little bit more defense is good. I'm betting we can actually take the ogre, and he did wake up. That's my chance of paralyzing him. Not bad, actually. And there we go. Boom, boom, boom. And that's without any evocation skill whatsoever. We're going to be really dependent on that. So, I don't know how much strength I'm going to need when I get like really heavy duty armor to really get the most bang for our buck. I, there's a spreadsheet that you can use to help calculate a lot of this stuff. Because um, getting dexterity would also be good to get more evasion. Although you take a huge nerf to evasion if you're encumbered, which is what happens when you have heavy armor in general, which I want to wear. And in addition to that, um, if you don't have as much strength, then you get more of it. I think... I think I'm going to go at least to like 25 strength or something like that. I, I'm, and, I mean, I'm hoping, I'm predicting that I'm going to find some really heavy armor.
to where? Did you step in a teleportation trap? Okay. I guess that's fine. Oh, and you're back already. I mean, you, you remembered where I might have been, so you came back right away. All right, Centaur. Annoying that you do get to shoot me immediately. I'm not worried about killing you once we get in melee range. That thing's going to be slightly more annoying with the imp. Short bow of freezing. Interesting. Economical temple, but... Oops. Why is it all... Smoky. Seems weird to me. Where's Marvin? Oh, there he is. Hey, Marvin. So we're going to go and pray to Mechleb. And he just loves you if you kill everything and anything. He's the god of destruction or something like that. Um, so that's all he wants. He just wants to kill everything. And you'll get some piety. And at one point of piety, we will start to heal when we kill stuff. Which is going to be great for longevity. Oh, there's a buckler. Um, honestly, I'm wondering. I don't know if we're seeing too many messages about mischances because of uh, the shield. But my current shield needs like 15 points of shield skill to... Oh, I've enchanted it to plus one, right? Yeah, so never mind. I'll just keep using it. But I was just wondering about using the... Um, um, the buckler temporarily while we wait for the skill to come up. So what is my attack speed? 1.2. It is starting to slow down. My axe skill is coming up a lot slower now. I don't like running around without the fighting shield armor. I mean, dodging getting at some point is probably okay. I don't know. Maybe we'll let it go up to 10. I still like the idea of, like, bringing it down to, like, a 1.0 and then train the other skills, but... Getting more hit points would be nice. I am near starving. So I guess I'll eat one of my many rations. Peek down the stairs. Um, you guys should be okay. I'll move towards you. Even if you surrounded me, the axe stuff would be pretty good. Except the kill. I don't have a level of piety yet. With this god, it'd actually be very handy if we got an amulet of faith. With the exception that all of his abilities do actually have a hit point cost. I mean, the idea is, you know, you heal while killing stuff, and then you spend some of the extra he health that you've always got um, to power your abilities. The problem is, I really don't want to do that. They're good emergency buttons, though. Phantoms aren't really something I'm, I'm feeling like dealing with here, but I might have to. I've got two mites. Is it worth quaffing a mite here to help me plow through these guys a little bit better? What's my failure chance on my heal? 13%. Okay, well, we'll do this so that we don't get smited. You know what? I'm going to drink the mite. Because some of these can do a lot of damage. Actually, I'm going to use my heal ability here. A little risky to do in combat, because if it fails, you just wasted a turn, and that's bad. Kill the smiter. Yeah, I'm going to have to do another heal. Okay. Dagger of Venom is slightly annoying. I still don't have my first level piety. Okay, axe is equal to 10. Oh, we're under, we're under 1 for our swing time. Nice. I don't think might matters for that. Uh, okay. That's actually something I forgot. Shields slow you down if you're not fully skilled, right? Because shields and armor with encumbrance and whatnot can give you a mischance, but I think shields slow you down if you're not skilled. So I might have wanted... Anyway, I'm saying it's time now. I'm going to keep axes focused. I've got a target on it still, which is good. Um, but I'm going to turn on fighting armor shields. You know what, and I know it's spreading out a bit, but I'm going to evocations. I'm going to get five levels of evocation so that we can keep going with our ability to paralyze huge threats. This is a little scary with the halberd here because the reach stuff they're going to do is annoying, but I think none of his buddies came. Oops. That priest is, or that wizard is. Okay. Ow. Ow! What the hell, man? hate that I'm having to use a few more of these heals because I'm really worried about burning through all my max mana too early in the game. I still don't have a rank in my god's um, 
piety. Ah, oh, men cower. Ow! Son of a bitch. I don't have any MR. Okay, I gotta go down these stairs. Ogre's fine. I mean, he can hit fairly hard, but... I need some magic resistance before I deal with um, men cower. What's in the shop? Jewelry shop. That ring's very nice. Fire resistance, the strength bonus. We can't afford it right now. Um, what we can afford is a ring of magic resistance. Four or four, gold not found. I do have a few rings, don't I? Do I have more remove curses? No. I do have a scroll of identify, which I will use to identify another stack of potions. Heal wounds. Okay, that's really good. The advantage of getting the strength one as well. Okay, I gotta be careful. I can't afford to go up the stairs where Menkower is. I also can't afford to walk in a direction that might trigger more enemies. There we go. Okay, I have my my piety level here. I think it just happened because I don't see a you feel better message. But I'm at one star. If I look over here, you gain health from killing. That is making a big difference in our pacing. Thump. Did I still not get any though? It maybe it scales with piety. And there's a reduced. If, if you're killing something weak, it's like piety and strength. So killing wimpy things might not give me as much health. Maybe my health is going up and I'm not seeing the message for it. I, I'll actually look at the number. Um, I don't want to go up the stair blind. I think I can take this ice beast. One of acids is very strong. Here, let's see if we can just drop the paralysis on here to make sure. I'm trying to minimize how much damage we take. And it's a very different play style. Okay, done, done. Still at 38. Mm. Pop up these stairs. Poison's slightly annoying, but not really a problem. Okay, Ogre's fine. Phantom's relatively okay. I think both of these would follow me down. Okay, we're gonna quaff... A heal wounds. Wow, it's still not enough. Alright, I'll use my ability to heal up some more. Die, die, die. Okay, killed you. Good. Uh, enchant armor, enchant weapon. Yeah, we need some more remove curse. But read, another identify. Two metallics. Lignification... It's really less, I think, critical with this character, because A, I'm going to be rocking around with high AC most of the time anyway. Um, and I won't really need the um, poison resist. Oh, this guy might be slightly annoying. Okay. Um, although, don't I have arc corrosion? Yeah. Which I think helps with, like, protecting against acid attack bullshit. Anyway, yeah, I, won't, I don't need the poison resist to the same way. Now, I'm still- I'm gonna run into Menkower again if I- if I keep wandering like this, so... Let's sort of abandon this floor. Come back later. When we've got, I don't know, flame attacks or... More MR. Or something like that. What's my gold? Okay, I haven't got enough. I should have actually put it in my shopping list. Should be fine. Oh, yeah, you go down to enter a shop, but you can't actually find it by doing that. Yeah, I like the idea of buying this ring. Resistance fire will also always be nice to have around. And the bonus strength is actually going to be super handy. Okay, we're at 27 now. And yeah, I'll be investing in probably decks. Despite the fact that having a little bit more mana... I'm going to heal before I engage this guy. Or I'll fail. I wish I hadn't failed. Okay. Uh, I should have just backed off, actually. Uh, what is this? Glowing Flail. 
Okay, well, I need to remove curse before I want to equip that. But again, I'm looking for a, a non-slicing weapon before I go into the lair, so I don't have to worry about beheading hydras and making them stronger. So yeah, we'll go into dex. I don't know how much I'm going to need to actually not worry about... Um, or to actually get more EV. Maybe it's dumb. I don't know. Hiss of Flowing Sand. So there's an ossuary on this level. And we find it right away. Um, I think that's relatively safe for us to do. What's our inventory slot? We've got lots of space in here. I'm trying to think. There'll be mummies and shit in here, right? I don't know. I think it's okay. We can always back out pretty quickly if there's a problem. I will top myself off. I think this is going to be a lot of scorpions. And mummies. Looks easy. Sus immune to poison. Da da da. Subtle fire. Can hit for up to 20, which is a lot. On the other hand, you're relatively squishy. Maybe not as squishy as I'd hoped. Maybe not as deadly there as I'd hoped either. It's Tomahawk. I don't know if the explosion from the Tomahawk actually counts as fire or not. Okay, we're getting we're getting life back by killing here. So we're sort of breaking even. Oh, he's feeling better. Because uh, we're at our second tick now. So I can spend HP and, and piety, probably. No, just HP to use minor destruction. But I'd rather not. Because HP is too valuable of a resource for me. Are you going to go through the water to come at me? I don't want to step in the water because... You aim much worse in the water. Oh! Bog Mummy can slow me down. I guess I could have moved there to avoid being in the water. There we go. Scrolls and potions, baby. Very good. Very happy we got in here. Still that extra room. Kill a few more things for some XP. Armor skill up. Like all these zombies, very easy to take care of. Basically, very free content. And a ring. Okay, that's that. Can't reach some places because of the water. I don't think there's going to be anything anywhere. Yeah, it's just the deep water stuff, so. Uh, very hungry. Okay, we'll eat a ration. Go there. Pop upstairs. And we are going to identify the six green potions. Potions of flight. Womp womp. Uh, we've got to remove Curse now, which is great. So what we're going to do is we're going to wield this Glowing Flail. Flail of Protection. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm still going to wield the Wearer Axe now, because it'll be slightly better damage. Well, it's a, whoops. I didn't mean to actually hit O there. Um, I was trying to hit I. Uh, so with the Remove Curse, so I'm going to put on the Bone Ring. I'm going to read... Actually, before I read that, I'm going to put on... Another ring, replacing the good one. Plus four ring of slaying. That's very nice. So we're going to keep trying on rings. Uh, oops. In case we find another cursed one. Because then we'll remove both cursed rings with one spell. Like that one. So, read. Remove curse. Drop. Loudness and teleportation. Because it's a bad ring of teleportation. It teleports you next to enemies. Uh, so we will put on... I don't need flight. We can evoke flight with something, too, right now. Um, right? Yeah, so I can drop the Ring of Flight. We can always pick it up again if we need it. And we've got, like, six flight potions and all that. Uh, so that's good. Ring of Slaying is really... I think that's just damage. All right, so if we... Oh, yeah. E this. Increase decreases uh, wears effectiveness with ranged weapons and melee attacks. Increase affects your accuracy and damage. Oh, so it's like having a plus four enchantment on your weapon. Oh shit, that's really good. Kill you. Eat. Uh, spell books. So they don't go into our inventory anymore, which is nice. Thump. Because it saves me the trouble of dropping it because I'm... Oh, there's bees and everything and fire. We do have fire resistance though. We don't have poison resist, but we're not super worried about that. Okay, where's... Oh, okay. It's not who I expected. Where's the wizard? We got a bee. 
Getting surrounded by bees is pretty bad. I'd rather not have that happen. Not really worried about the poison. Where the hell did the wizard go? Two-headed ogre. That's pretty dangerous. Because they swing twice. 15 plus club, 20 plus club. Yeah, I'd rather not. But... What about paralysis? 42%. Nice. Get owned. Ha <laughs> ha! And we just reached 5.0 evocation with that. Um, that's probably okay for now. In fact, what I'm going to want to do is train up some invocation, because as my god becomes more cool with me, we'll gain the ability to summon some demons, and that can really help us with some tough, tough, tough fights. So I think what I'm going to do, I'll turn on you invocation, and also set that to something like 5. We've got such a boost to it. It's very, very nice and easy to do. Okay. I like it. What's my swing timer at right now? Yeah, 0. 0.9. Again, so we haven't hit Mindelay, and it's very valuable to hit Mindelay, but the point is we're not super slow with the weapon. Okay. Come to me, Ogre. Boom, boom, boom. No problem. Kill you. Wandering around at full health makes me feel so good. More scrolls that we don't know. An ogre and a two-headed ogre. Okay, so what we have to do is we... Uh, I think it's going to zap you. Which I guess is fine. It's not what I needed. But it'll buy me more time. There you go. It's like one of these is going to go. Couldn't outrun him. Look at the XP from this! Ah, oh, so good! Whack, 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 before you wake up. Not that a regular ogre is a problem right now, which is good. Okay. Done the floor. Boom. If we can get an axe of uh, fire, the Menkauer fight will also go very nicely. Uh, more paralysis charges. Jeez, the game really wants me to be able to do that. Now, that's a large shield. It's not a magic large shield. So, because it would require a lot more skill to use, and I do at least have the plus one on my current shield, I will keep going as is. But we might come back to it later when our skill is higher. I might be wrong, like, in terms of what contributes. Is that a vampire? And a troll behind me. Probably okay. We only have a 7% chance of our demon being hostile. Okay, that's a the orange one it deals poison. So it'll help against the troll. That's a lot of wizards. Let's break some line of sight here. I might want to teleport out of here. I'm not sure. Let's let's do that. And I will self-heal just to make sure in the meantime things don't go too badly. Okay. I'm pretty sure a solo troll is going to be okay. These guys, definitely. I, I, I'm pretty sure, like, all of that solo was going to be fine. This is a little scary, but not really. Everyone's going invisible. All right. I'm throwing rocks at me. It's not even showing me the, uh, the thingy, which is weird. Self-heal. How long is he going to be invisible? That's very annoying. Could paralyze. I might want to drop some acid charges here, actually. I mean, the wand of acid is super valuable. But the nice thing about hitting something with acids is it does corrode them. There we go. So they get a big penalty to a bunch of stats. Totally tubular jade ring. Uh, do I have to remove curse? I do. I might wait until I have, like, more things to test or something. Because it's not like I'm going to complain about the rings I've got now. 
I mean, I'm going to want to start collecting some sources of resistances, but it might be the sort of thing where I'm really going to have to do some item swapping. Wow. We're exploring the level really fast there. Apparently we cleared everything at some point. Okay. Got a scythe. Uh, that might have been overkill. I was hoping to also get the... Is that a crocodile over there? Maybe just an iguana? Oh! Urig, the ballista! You're pretty dangerous. You like to throw javelins. I'm going to enjoy getting your javelins after. Uh, yeah, we'll eat a ration, sure. Go down here. What floor are we on? Dungeon 10. And we haven't found any branches yet. I mean, other than temple. Well, lair will be this floor or the next one. Oh, I think auto pick was, was off. Is this wraith solo? Okay, solo wraith is easy. A group of wraith means you're probably dealing with Josephine. Who's not bad as long as you can get right on top. Of the wraiths, but they're slow. Come on. There it is. I really want to avoid having to drop some heal here. I might be playing a little too cavalier with my health. Yeah, it's you again. So, let's stat you up here. 67 hate points, which is more than me. Good AC, good EV. Can hit for 25 plus your mace. And the whole time you're throwing shit at me. Okay, we'll top off. Hmm, that's not far enough, because she was basically right in this area. So we'll go back over here. Melee you down. Kill the annoying one. Uh, that's more wraiths. Oh, there's Josephine. 70 hit points. Fairly squishy. And your dagger's no good, but you can fireball and vamp draining. And, of course, you've got lots of friends this time. Oh, yeah, I can't... I was going to wait a tick to... Bring the extra Noel in, but he's a halberd Noel, so he's not going to do that. Are you still around over here? There we go. That's what I want. Bring these guys up. That's going to be a lot of dudes, and I'm slowed. Although, this bottleneck is very good for limiting the attacks. Actually, that's not true. The halberd one can still hit me, and he's not taking the splash damage from my axe attacks. So that was actually poor for me, and good for him. Uh, I'm just waiting for the slow to wear off. I guess I'll have to top myself off. I think I have to keep going down here. Now, I could paralyze Urug, possibly, which might might be better. I mean, sh she, I think it's she, is going to be javeling me the entire time. 45% chance is pretty good. Also, you didn't javelin me. Are you out? Nope. Come on. There you go. Should've just done that from the start. I think I still have might potions and other consumables. Enchanted Great Mace. It's a two-handed weapon. So no. Again, if this was like if it's an artifact and then it turns out to be an amazing artifact, then maybe. I don't even know if I want to be around here. Okay, she's gonna come for me. Invisibility. So I'm going to be able to get right on top of you. And I'm just going to make sure it works out. I'm going to might as well. Ow! Self-heal. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Harold the Weathered. How many people are over here? There's a three unique floor. Extremely dangerous. 12 bullets try and blow the fire. Blink. I'm still in viz with might. Okay. And a two-headed ogre. I mean, I could try to wand you as well, but a lot of these uniques have higher MR. I didn't actually check. Where'd the two-headed ogre go? I mean, it's possible that I can just take this guy without wanding, but I've got tons of charges. And why risk it? He can do so much damage so fast. I think it'll come down to luck. Like, whether or not he lands to hit rolls. If he does, then I'm toast. And wasting, like, permanent resources. Because, again, if you run out of your max mana, you can't use your self-heal ability anymore. And that's kind of devastating. 
Isn't like a bee nest? No, it's just a swarm. Blowgun with poison needles. I, I really don't think we're, we're, we're planning on going that route. Yeah, this should be okay. The invisibility is slightly annoying. I don't know if you can, like, accidentally swing in and slash the invisibles. Yaks can do a lot of damage, and they tend to be in large groups. This looks mostly okay. Yeah. Alright. Shield skill increases. And get the self-heal effect. Wand of scatter shot. Actually, that's really good. Less good against something with high AC, but pretty big AoE damage. Um, I really don't like these large areas like this. Not that these are terribly dangerous. Oh! There's something invis- Oh, shite. That's probably a goddamn unseen horror or whatever. They're really annoying. Because they're fast, and they blink. Now, uh, he probably followed me down. Maybe not. I'm not seeing notes about invisible things hitting me. So I really don't want to go up the stairs and have to deal with him again. On the other hand, this is not the greatest spot in the universe. These are all undead, so I'm not sure that my demons are going to be that handy, but I'm going to go ahead and summon a couple. We do have access to major destruction now. Which is nice. Okay. And they stick around for a while, and some of them summon other demons. It's kind of hilarious. Okay, there's Lair. On, on D11, la literally the latest you could find it, which I guess is okay. Um, the problem is I really don't have... It was auto pickup off? Yeah, of course it is, because we were dealing with the invisible guy. Um, I really don't have a good uh, solution to Hydra. Troll leather armor does not regenerate me, unfortunately. That drained me. I mean, I've got the Morningstar protection, which I guess is it. It's not ideal. Plus zero. A brand, I mean, it'll give me a bunch of AC. Every time you attack, uh, like, as long as you've attacked recently, I guess is the way I should say it, um, you get a, um, I think it's like plus seven AC. It's quite high. Plate armor. Hmm. No, I really like my armor right now. I mean, we're going to want to upgrade, but not for non-magical. That is an artifact ring. That is a second artifact ring. I mean, we did have to buy the first one. I will um, I will read it, just in case it's got really weird traits on it. Cursed ring of minus six dex. No, yeah, we'll just drop that. Oh, there's a hydra. I was just checking. Do I have... Uh, no, I don't have our poison, which I'm going to really want for the lair. So I'm going to want to change to the flail of protection. Now you can still hit like crazy, because each head hits for what, 18? Yeah, it's four times. Now, you can see my AC is currently 19. Because I've used my flail of protection. That's going to make a big difference. I'd much rather if I had a flaming axe, because then every swing would take a head off and weaken him. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I F adjust to B. So then I can just hit the apostrophe to swap between the two buttons. The two weapons. Normally you do that with like maybe a ranged weapon or something. I'm going to peek at the next floor. This is going to be a pretty dangerous floor. I really want to avoid taking too many risks. Acid Dragon is kind of less than ideal. But with 27 HP, not much AC, not much EV. Like it's really squishy. I just want to avoid getting acided too much, which is going to happen at least once, although I do have anti-corrosion. And then more people are showing up. Including someone shooting me through other people. Okay. I feel better. Chop up some corpses. 
the shiny. Um, Cyclops is super fine. I just don't want to be, like, I don't want him to throw rocks at me. I mean, he's stronger than an ogre. Not as strong as a two-handed, a two-headed ogre. I didn't actually look at his stats, but I'm pretty sure that's accurate. Mace of Holy Wrath. No, that's not going to help us kill Hydras. Eight-headed Hydra. That's a lot of Hydra. You got some MR as well. I think I want to teleport away from this guy. Now, there's a lot of this floor we don't know about yet. I do have three potions of heal wounds, but jeez. I might just be able to, like, demon spam this. I, I'm, I gotta make sure I don't swing with my current weapon. Uh, he's actually taking some damage, although he's also hit me a bunch. Swap weapons. Self-heal. Attack. At oh! Okay, well, with all my demon help, that actually turned out to be pretty okay. Switch back to the axe. I don't have a ton of health. Again, I'm hoping to mostly just heal passively, rather than burn max HP early. It's not a huge problem. God damn, this floor is lousy with hydras. Yeah, I'm just gonna... It's only five-headed. Another demon. I'm gonna drag you up alone, actually. I shouldn't have summoned the, the, the demon. It was silly. Although, I think something... It might have hit a demon, or something hit my demon. Done. Okay. And yeah, a lot of healing from that. Uh, is there a stairway I haven't checked yet? Yeah, this one over here. This'll do. I, did I accidentally kill an ugly thing in there? Wow. So, yeah, I'll get another dex. I don't know if that's actually useful. I should really try to load up some sort of spreadsheet that goes through the numbers and tells me if I'll actually get any extra evasion ever. Probably not so much, and I should just boost strength, but. So, I guess that's not a surprise that the orcish mines were there. Those were a fair number of orcs. Uh, what was that whip? Whip flaming. Let's, um, let's wear that for a second. Is the Whip of Flaming or the Flail Protection better? What's the base damage on the Flail? 10. And the Whip is 6, and it's going to get more for Flaming. I don't remember how much more. It's percentage, it's like 40%? 0 to 50%. Okay, so let's say it averages about 25% more damage. Um, so... You're looking at maybe doing about 8-ish. So just hitting with the, the mace is better and gets me AC. So we're going to drop this whip. Okay. Mm, you're fine. Yeah, this guy drains magic. But, like, not magic, max magic or anything. Like, he's super not a threat to me. This room looks fine. I mean, in a sense, if I'm only attacking one person. Was this an unseen thing? What is... A lamp of fire! <gasps> That's going to be great with my evocations! That's actually going to be very good! Yeah, that's going to be very annoying is what it's going to be. Now, I'm going to assume that this thing is to the left of me. Suck fire. I killed it. Ha! 
God, I hate those things so bad. Unseen horrors or whatever they're called. They're fast, they blink, and they're invisible. And they hit, I mean, they don't hit that hard. Well, they're really devastating if you're squishy. Um, and yeah, the problem is because of all their blinking and fastness, it, it, it's basically impossible for you to figure out where they are. Although being in a small hallway like that certainly helped a lot. Soldier ant. Okay. A little tougher than, you know, some of the other bugs so far, but so far so good. Man, I can't believe... We keep, like, going through the same areas again and again, it feels like, and keep running into more stuff. This has been really good for XP, this level, though. Speaking of, where are we? Axes are very close to hitting Mindelay. Shield, did we actually... Oh, we didn't actually put the limiter on you, although um, it's not really a big deal. But yeah, so skill 15, so we set that as a target. Because yeah, axes will stop training soon enough. And then we'll be fighting in armor. And then what we'll probably do... Why do we have 5.1 and 5.4 evoking? I guess we killed something that like overkilled the amount of XP we had. So it stopped at 5.0, but not after overkilling it already, which is fine. Um, so, if we look at our abilities, Major Destruction, at some point we'll get the Greater Servant of Machleb, which is, like, such a good emergency button, and we really will want that chance of hostility to be very low. That being said, with the Lamp of Fire, which, uh, recharges, um, as you gain XP. Like, that's basically, it's, it's got a cooldown. Cooldown is not based on time, it's just based on you going around killing stuff without using it. Um, it does get a lot stronger with evocations. And the wands are saving our bacon, like, time after time after time. Oh, I gotta put a cut in here. So, I do think evocation is gonna get turned on again. Maybe after the axe is finished. We'll just keep fighting armor, shields, and evocation. And at some point, invocation as well, but we'll wait for that. Alright, thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you guys next time.